We've all seen the examples of two-tier policing, two-tier judiciary, some claiming too, now up and down the country. Millions upon millions of people are very concerned by this, as well as the state of our country. But what happens when Nigel Farage raises this to Keir Starmer? Just look at the response from him and our MPs. Yesterday we witnessed some extraordinary celebratory scenes outside Britain's prisons, where in some cases serious career criminals were released. And this to make way for, yes, rioters, but equally those who've said unpleasant things on Facebook and elsewhere on social media. Does the Prime Minister understand there is a growing feeling of anger in this country that we are living through two-tier policing and a two-tier justice system? I'm angry to be put in a position of having to release people who should be in prison because the last government broke the prison system. Now just listen again to the jeer that Farage gets when he mentions the two-tier policing. This is an issue that millions of us up and down the country are very concerned about. Yet Keir Starmer and his ilk don't even think it's worthy of consideration. Just like the concern of the British people after the Southport stabbings, he doesn't even mention it. The message after that was very simple. If British people have concerns about migrants, whether first generation or second, stabbing their children, they are stupid, racist and irrational and should shut up and go away. However, after the riots, in which to my knowledge no people were killed, he thinks about the safety of Muslims. And as I said at the time, if people are being needlessly victimised and attacked, fine, they need some protection. But what about us? Do we not even bear any consideration at all? It seems not. It seems that the Starmbot 2024 version is devoid of human emotion. He simply carries out the dictates of progressive orthodoxy robotically. Why people voted for Keir Starmer and the Labour Party, I will never know. However, the one silver lining is he's completely destroying the credibility of the globalist liberalism he stands by. These are just my thoughts, however. Do let me know what you think down below and do consider subscribing to the channel.